Oh, I'm seeing, uh, seeing a stage change right now. Might see the two combatants get started before Jet gets back. Now it's at the BK. Well, we are in the midst of Grand Finals Reset here on Gaming Somniacs. Thank you all very much for tuning in. Here we go. Off to a uh, yeah, relatively mild start. Good trade there between two combatants. Chad's Nair interrupts what Sony's want to do. Here we go. Another Nair train. Nair, Nair. Tried to go for fair, but missed it. I have. Neutral knife replacement. All right, I have returned here. And we are, yeah, like you said, getting right into it. Faints by Sony Eights are so hard to describe verbally, but they're so impressive nonetheless. Yeah, what we're seeing, I mean, here, Chag has the lead, and he knows that, and he knows that Sonics has to approach. So, But now, percents are changing. Very interesting how these players play, because they're both really patient when they want to be, and they're both really aggressive when they want to be. But, no, that's an oh. unfortunate thing that happens there. So, got hit, and I think what happened is I tried to teleport a little bit too early. So, you can't grab ledge for about 20 to 25 frames, I think it is, after you get hit. So, it's possible that the up B was inputted immediately after getting hit by the spring, and it was too soon, if you before grabbing ledge. It was too soon! Unfortunate. Jag's got a big hill to climb right now, and Sonics is really, really keeping at it here. So, what do you think's happening in Chag's mind right now? Because Chag did Dude, take this I in would be, grands. I was devastated after the way game five went, but I'm also fragile mentally, so. <laughs> no, but I'm I'm just more so thinking like Chag did take this in Winterside, and and here he is now. It's it just seems like he's not. It's it's either he's Sonics is more warmed up or the mentally a bit more exhausted for Chag. I'm not so sure, but yeah, it's it's kind of kind of different. Oh man, that actually the spring actually. Oh, gets that throw. grab. That was that kind of came out of nowhere. Oh, God, finally timed the down air. Perfectly. Oh man, that was needed. That is the exact little statement you need to do to say no, no, no. no. I know I'm good. You're gonna get hit. Dang. And now like this though, we're getting the neutral airs and zero to forty, bringing all the way out here. And and Chag has turned up the heat right now. But that grab's oh, gonna the miss. Grab, the grab missed? Yeah, spot dodge wow. happened. But here we are now. Yeah, Chag has turned this up, and these players are going aggressive right now. Oh, man. Ooh. And we've seen that conversion before. It happens at certain percents, and that is going to take it there. When Sonic's up air works, miracle has happened. I mean, and people say that. The funny thing is that I, for, for the time that I played Sonic, I have rarely ever had his up air not connect. I don't know if it's just the way I play him, but I, every time I do it, that up, air, <laughs> that up air connects consistently for me. So I don't know what, what these Sonic players are doing. <laughs> Maybe just a little bit of uh, happenstance. We have a we have a Peach player, Isaac M, who plays in a bunch of Fro Fridays tournaments, and he has, oh, I kid wow. you not, the most absurd turnip pull RNG luck. Like bombs two games in a row. Oh, that forward smash going to take it and like that. <laughs> forward smash? Yeah, you can angle the forward smash up and down. <laughs> so that is going to be there. Game one. I'm to just Sonics. so used to seeing Sonics just using it at the normal angle that I was like, oh, well, actually, he angled it up. Dope. Yeah, he angled it up <laughs> because there, it wasn't a matter of hitting the ledge; it was a matter of hitting above him. So good stuff there. Good, good stuff. So yeah, those little, those little moments of serendipity where it's like, oh, I see how this is. You're just to keep getting random RNG or random things to work. So. Funny way the game works, especially just by virtue of your own personal experiences. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we've mostly seen a rotation of Final Destination, Kalos, and PS2. 
What were the other legal stages in this? Uh, in so the, we got uh, we got Smashville, we got Town and City, and then um, we have Lilat and Yoshi's Story and Battlefield. We have not seen Triplats with these guys, so they they've been sticking to just stages without platforms for the most part. Is it three bands? Um, I think it's two, and then um, and then you can't go to the last stage you've won on. That's I, I believe that's what it is. So. Right, like this. Though. I mean, again, we're on, we're on just these flat stages. Like you said, these guys aren't going to triplats. They, I mean, I think, I think that Sonics is banning triplats, and uh, and hence when he when when he loses, like in the last grands, he's choosing not to go for those, and he's choosing not to go to Smashville or whatever. So, yeah, I mean, he wants space to run around, and he doesn't want triplats. Is what it sounds like. I'm just surprised that we haven't seen Town City once. The town is huge. You live forever there. So, I think that's really the bigger reason. <laughs> it's It already can be difficult to kill. If you put it on town, it is more difficult. Oh, nice call out with the jump, but not going to get it. And here we are. Again, Chag has the lead. We've seen this happen a good amount of times and gets the conversions there. Calling for the jump get up there. Uh-oh. It's fine. Oh, He's, fine. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. I always like the rising uh, uh, explosive flames that Chad tries to do in recovering the stage. Yeah, it, it places it at such a place. It, it just puts it right in front of him. So, I think one of the interesting things is that Politan oh. doesn't have any options for cross ups, so it's not like Politan can like down smash her way through a like particular like. On stage in your rash, although I guess Sunny's can. That was a nice down smash. <laughs> yep, gonna gonna catch on both sides there. A nice wall jump there that we saw coming out. Yeah, I mean you are correct in the sense like Paulo does Paulo is very strong, obviously, but she doesn't have like the easiest ways to cross up. You can cross up neutral layers, but you have to have your opponent shielding. And what we're seeing with Sonics is he's he's not shielding when you're close to him. He's avoiding you. So whether that means charging in or just kind of escaping. Oh, and that explosive flare, not going to kill Chag yet. And here's the thing, both of these players, neither person has lost their stock yet. This, like you said before, the first stock really makes a big difference on this right here. Oh, here comes Sonix. Yep, has a... Oh, I'm going to catch that roll read again. We have seen the roll from ledge and then the roll to center, and Sonic's just throwing out that F-tilt non-committal, and it is going to hit it there. Oh. And Chag knows that if he gets his stock quickly, oh man, I think I don't know if that was a Twitch stream. I think it was. Chag knows that if he gets his stock quickly, there is the up tilt of all things. Going to take him off the top. Only thirty-two percent here. Let's go for Chad. Yep, Chad can do this. But every percent that he takes means that it becomes harder and harder. He then has to do more stuff charging in. All right, 22 from two water reticles. And there's a cross of like we were saying before with the Nair. Oh, nice using the coming attack there, but. And it's interesting. We're oh. seeing we're seeing a lot of the same exchanges that we saw from both winner's side and from Grants between these two players, but it's just a rock paper scissor as to like which one is going to happen. What are was like? Okay, this situation you could auto reticle. Okay, but when and is it going to hit me? Is he going to jump in homing attack? No one really knows. Again, switching sides. But Sonics is just piling on more and more damage with each of these interactions. So the most part, ah, finally Chad catches him. But yeah, this is this is definitely a much, much, much slower pace game that we've seen. Oh man, almost gets that down air. Both players kind of jumping on the spring here. How you doing today? <laughs> oh, I'd stream cut for a second. There we go. Yeah, it's okay. Back air coming down, nice. very strong there. 60% on Sonics right now. 
very good recovery there from Chug. Actually jumping, then angling down the up special to make it so that he gets onto the ledge. Very good back air, though, coming out from Sonics. And, yeah, this second game looking like it's his, but we can't guarantee anything until it's over. And I will tell you, in the next two minutes, something will happen. We'll have a winner. <laughs> Catching the shield drop there, but here comes Chog firing back. Doing a defensive option there, actually air dodging away instead. Dash that coming in, not going to kill. That was probably a win. Oh, and actually catches the rollback, but that's not enough. Not enough yet. Incredible. And Sonic's is just doing a really good job on evading everything here. But, gonna get caught finally. Going off to the top. 40% on this with a minute left. And he is gonna wait it out here. Oh, rolls back and gets hit. Chag has 50% that he's gotta do. Or death. One of the two. Make that 77%. But here we are. Oh, I thought, I, I know what Chog tried to do. He tried to footstool there. If he footstool yep. there, that would have been it. That would have taken him down, wouldn't have been able to recover. And here we are. But 20% on Sonics. And Chog really, now you're seeing him get a bit more aggressive because he knows he's got to get in. Oh, but that's going to hurt. 30 seconds on the clock here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for the follow. Oh, that's on your side. <laughs> oh, I'm on my side? I, was, I always assume it's on your guys' side. Yeah, I, I heard it. I'm still... I'm not sure as to how this is set up, but oh. in any case, that jump back, you're going to take it 10.51 seconds left on the clock. Sonics is going to take game two here, and now it's his tournament set. Tournament game. We shall see what happens. Okay, looks like we're getting a real change of pace here to Lilat. So we have seen this in Smash 4, I will say so uh, Sonic always did pretty well on Lilat. It was kind of his own playground. It gave him a lot of movement options. He could kind of just do stuff. Um, I actually have done it back when I used to play Sonic. I would counterpick to Lilat Sonic Game 3, and it would completely throw my opponent off. But this is, in Smash Ultimate, I'm not so sure... I mean, the platform layout makes it so that you can kind of just get away with a lot of stuff. Um, Sonic can kind of, again, it's kind of like a playground. He can jump around, mix up where he's going to land and all these other things. But as to what this means for Paolo, I'm not so sure. And this is Shaq's counterpick. I mean, maybe, oh, that was interesting going for the ledge shrimp there. But now, I mean, maybe, maybe it's uh, just a whole change in pace here. We've had enough and actually seeing a counter for the first time in my whole entire life on this game. Yeah. I don't know if that was a misinput, and that just worked out. Players. Oh my gosh! It's probably just like being tired. But here, these two guys are exhausted at this point. Yeah, I mean they've been playing the whole entire day, and they're duking it out right here. But yeah, we did have a smaller tourney, hence why we're doing this in one day. Smaller tourney with plenty on the line. Yep, and that upper gonna send up high. That shot gonna send in. Oh, man. And here's the thing. Like, we mentioned this before. Sonics has to be careful. If Sonic... If, like, the first stock kind of dictates a lot of stuff. And Sonic's narrowly avoiding both of those flares. Not going to avoid the third one. I mean, the question is, is he going to do it again? Are you that insane? I don't know. And yeah, Sonic's being oh. aggressive when he really needs to be aggressive, really going in. Chog 
repeatedly stymieing Sonic's attempts to actually get a hitbox in. And Shog actually going in for these ledge trumps a lot more now. Seems like he really is just trying to pressure Sonic's wherever he can. Oh man, I saw I saw an up air there, not a back air from Paolo. If he did the back air, probably would have beaten out Sonic's back air. But here we are now. Jag's still in the lead here, but Sonic's definitely is not giving up here. And you see how Sonic's immediately did an option there. He immediately jumped, and that's because he was ex expecting Jag to go ledge for that ledge trump. Exactly. Oh, that's going to hurt. That's right in the face. Oof. Oh, and there One, you go. Two, three. One, two, three sends off. Not going to kill. Back throw. Going to set up for another ledge guard. So he's looking for the kill confirmed to really try and wrap this up. And we're seeing, again, Sonics is playing way aggressive here, but... Oh, he's okay. Like, he, he does a really good job on mixing up when he's going patient and when he's going in balls to the wall, because when he's... That, that, that surprise factor really does a lot. There it is. Going to get this back throw. Is that enough? That is enough. Yeah. This is why we German pummel. Stuff. This is why Talk. we pummel. This is exactly why we pummel. Already getting 60%, almost 70% now on Chog. Chog knows he can do this, but he's got to just kind of think. <laughs> okay. All right, he's thinking, he's walking. If, he's walking. What if, we, what if we just stood still? <laughs> just side B. <laughs> oh my gosh, if that worked. <laughs> but instead, okay, there, there's your new, there's your, um... Yeah, you're right. There's your uh, there's your up air not connecting. Unfortunate. Jog getting that stock after a uh, brief moment of silence. Good stuff. Yeah. Jeez, oh, whole Lord, entire time. Kids. Whole entire time, just shields. Back air going to send out. Not going to kill, though. Oh, yeah. angles it up. That looked like it could have potentially hit up there. Yeah. Because of the angel on the flats, might have. Yeah, exactly. Jag is holding the shield a good amount. Every time that he gets back to stage, it is scary. Sonic only at 11%. Yeah, you can see that Chag is... Staying alive here, but Sonics wants this kill. But he also knows that he's like, I'm I got two minutes. I'm yeah. I'm doing just fine here. Nice spin shot coming in. We get more damage. We got 160 here. We got that forward tilt almost connecting. Forward air is gonna connect. For F tilt and get it. But that back throw is going to take it there. And like that, Sonic's waking up for the grand sets. Getting a 3 0 here. Congratulations. HB GamerCon 20 champion. Yep, for Smash Ultimate. Congratulations to Sonic's. Congratulations to Shog for getting second place. And then we got Meister in on third, Insomniac on fourth. We have Malib and. Man, I'm going off of my memory here, so bear with me, guys. And uh, Montanon in yep. fifth. And then... And if, and Ammonia and Z-Baby in seventh. So, congratulations. I'm going to go kill this over here. And good stuff to, Ch to Chag and to, <laughs> and to Sonic there. Good stuff.